What's up guys and welcome back. This is Audie Murphy and this is part two of this War of Mine Let's Play. Uh, this is day four. Uh, as you remember last night, we had a pretty good run. Uh, the night before that, we did not have such a great run and actually got shot at in the process. Thankfully not dinged up too badly. Um, but today we really want to start looking at how we're going to spend some of these supplies that we've amassed over the past three nights. And one of the first things that I want to do is make sure that I get this cook stove upgraded as quickly as possible because you see here that it's going to cost two fuel um, for every large meal that I make and that fuel is pricey. It's not too badly now when you're still having lots of supplies thrown at you from left and right but as day goes on, as you get into mid and especially late game those sources start to dry up real quickly and all this wood, this 22 wood that I have here I'm going to wish that I had not used that on the fuel. Um, but at this point, I, I really need to use my supplies on other things. I do want to make sure I get a knife here up so that my party members can defend themselves in the event that we get raided again, which we will. And at that point, they're going to be coming back with a lot more than just fists. So I want to make sure that I have the capacity to defend myself so I don't get all the stuff that I'm struggling to amass uh, stolen right out from underneath me and get my guys killed or wounded along uh, in the process, which will happen. Um, so we see Bruno here is a good cook and a smoker. Uh, so cigarettes will keep him happy. Meanwhile, Pavel is now very hungry, which is why I'm just going to go ahead and have Bruno cook up those meals for him so he gets some food in his stomach. Um, I'm debating what else I want to start doing here. I'm thinking about getting an improved metal workshop up so I can start uh, putting bullets back together and start getting some other nice stuff like improved ammo and weapons. And I think that that's actually what I'm going to do, uh, just get this improved metal workshop up so that I have it in the event that I do start finding stuff uh that I can repair. Also, that's going to let me get saw blades, which are going to be really necessary for going back to that one uh, place where I got shot at the first time, and that'll allow me to dig underneath that basement. I don't know if you remember, but there was a iron grating in there that we could get through, but we didn't have the tools at the time that would essentially allow me to undercut the entire map. So I'm looking at that and thinking about that, and that, I think that, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend the, spend the supplies. Uh, it, it, it's kind of a risk of supplies because those are like one-shot tools, and they will fall apart after one grade. Anything behind there uh, might be very, very valuable. So I'm just going to go ahead and spend the tools. Hopefully I'll hit the jackpot there, um, or I'll be able to use it for something else. There's a lot of greats in the game, and they're all in places that you really wish that you had a saw blade <laughs> when you see them uh, for various reasons, either because there's stuff right on the other side of them or because there's armed hostiles wandering, wandering around in other parts of the map that you can avoid through going that way. And uh, I, I think I'm going to spend a few electronic parts and get a radio uh, just for morale purposes. Um, I, I'm not seeing anyone who's sad yet, but it's best to keep things that way. And this will also allow me to get an update on the news and maybe even get some nice music in here for these guys. I don't have a guitar. I don't really, none of these guys are, are singers, you know, so they're, 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 there's a definite dearth of entertainment going on right now. And that's something that I'm going to try to remedy uh, by getting this radio up. So once Yep, there it is. Once this radio is fully tuned, and we're going to go here around the dial and see what we can hear. News update, news update. Any music? Can I get some music? No music. No music. Well, so Pavel's very hungry. I need to get some food in his stomach. Everyone else is sleeping it off. Bruno's very tired. Oh, Bruno is sad. So he, he needs the cigarettes is, is really what it comes down to. And, but... That, that's a that's a that's a secondary thing. At this point, Pavel just needs food, or he's going to start starving. So let's uh, let, let's get on that and have him eat up. I'm hoping that somebody's going to stop by here at some point, so I can trade. Uh, I do have some nice stuff to trade with, and I just don't really have enough materials or enough food now to really feel comfortable. It's only day four, but still only having five food, you know, essentially that's enough for five large meals. Presuming I even have a fuel in the water, and you see here I don't have the water. Uh, to start making really any more than I already have. Uh, I think I'm only going to be able to get one small meal, honestly, out of out of the, the, the purified water that I have. I, I, I probably should have thought about that. I know that there was some water on previous maps. I probably should have grabbed it. Yeah, I don't have enough. I don't have enough to make the, the two meals. So I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck. I need to get water. 
before I, I really do anything else. It's not going to be economical for me to do single meals. I'm just going to start burning all my food. And yeah, I'm getting getting low on supplies too after building that saw blade. I'm not really, you know, I don't have anything. Well, I don't have anything left. That one night where I, I had that poor run uh, is really going to come back and haunt me, I think, because I'm not progressing along here as fast as I really need to. I don't really have a choice. I need to get some food in Pavel's stomach. So I'm just going to have him do that one meal and have him eat. And everybody else can go to bed and hopefully just sleep off their hunger and not starve, man. This is not good. This is this is not good. It is getting late in the day now at least, so I'm gonna be able to go on another scavenging run here shortly. I haven't had anyone come and knock on my door, like at all today, which sucks. So where do I want to go here? Uh, make sure that I have Marco out scavenging. One man on guard. And... Huh. Well, I know what there is at the Sheld Cottage. There's a trading opportunity here at the garage, I believe. Uh, that was... That was the one where we got shot at. So we can... We can actually use that saw blade now and go underneath. Um, or we could go to St. Mary's Church and try to trade there. And then there's the quiet house, which is not somewhere I, will, I, don't, I think that I really am keen on going, but I know that there's stuff there and I know it's gonna be easy to get. So I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and give Marco his trusty dusty crowbar and let's let's go rob from these people. I, I know it's, I, I feel bad but I know that they're old and feeble. And old and feeble people in the apocalypse, I, I hate to say it, tend not to last long, uh, you know, one way or another, you know. So uh, I, I'm trying to justify myself here because I, I know what's about to happen, and it's, it, it's not going to be good. Not for him, anyway. Uh... What I do know about this place from experience is that he has food and he has stuff. And what that stuff doesn't include is a loaded firearm. So that leaves him in kind of a precarious position. Plus he's old and that never bodes well. Uh, he's kind of wondering what I'm doing here and what I'm doing should be clear, sir. I am looting your fine abode. Uh, yep, I am a bandit. And you should hide. You should run and hide right now because I'm a mean, scary bandit. And that's why I'm picking through your things with not a care in the... Oh, my. Hello. Now, this is more than I've ever seen here. This guy's got two broken AKs. And we're going to take those definitely. Because screw a knife when you have an AK. Am I right? Uh, I, I, you know, there are very few jobs in the apocalypse that an AK can't properly handle, and having two of them is double the fun. So we're going to go ahead and take those home and see what we can do with them. Uh, he's also got some smokes and some finer, also some, some other stuff, and I know that he's going to have some food in that fridge, which is the other item that we're going to want to take here, but by and large, our greatest haul from this journey is definitely, definitely going to be those two, AK, two AKs. I've seen a shotgun in there. I've seen some broken violins from time to time. It seems to be pretty much random, but what I've never seen is two broken AKs. So that's going to put us in a very good situation here to try to survive this apocalypse behind the weight of that kind of firepower. Let's see what kind of food he has in here. Oh, he's got some canned food. He's got a whole bunch of basic food and and we're going to need to unload some stuff here to be able to take all this. I don't need the manure. I'll, I'll leave the poop in your fridge for you, sir. You can you can keep that. Um, I hope it doesn't stink up the rest of the stuff too bad. Uh, my parting gift from, from me to you. So, again, I, I apologize. You know, if there's some way that I could offer for these fine people to come with me and um, live at my place, I'd, I'd be more than happy to do that. But unfortunately, they seem perfectly content here to just let me go ahead and rummage through the things and leave them with next to nothing. And then they're just going to figure it out on the back end. 
which is uh, not a great idea, folks. I mean, if 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 you have an opportunity to intervene, uh, you know, even if it's not physically, but just you know, say say something. Give me give give me an idea about where you want to go with this. You know, communicate. Communication is really key here. I think that's 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 the crux of what I'm what I'm getting at. And let's see here. He's got some uh, he's got some more wood. I don't think that I'm gonna find anything else too much more value up here. I think that I've already found most of the valuables but oh he does have some more meds okay i'll take that and do I want the herbal meds or do i want the bandages or do i want these 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 dog meds um i think i'm just gonna take those bandages and leave the rest for a future run and i think we're good i think that that's just about gonna do it for this trip i don't really see any further need to stick around much longer than i have to here did i already grab yep we're pretty much maxed out on what I'm going to be able to carry. Uh, I do want to make sure I take these gears, though. So take those gears. And that leaves me, I think, one spot. One spot left for some other stuff. Let's check, out the, check on the poop in the fridge here. I'm trying to find one more item of high value that I'm going to want to take back in this open slot. Um, I'm thinking at this point, just materials. Yeah, just materials for building. I do have these two OKs, but it's not going to be... It's going to be a while until I uh, am able to fix those up. You're going to need an improved... Not just an improved, but like a twice improved uh, tool bench. And a lot of materials needed to get there. So I just want to make sure that I take as much actual building materials as I can to give me a little head start on getting those up and working order because that's going to be a huge game changer for me if I can. And that's a big if uh, I can get those AKs up. And let's see, nope, nothing, nothing down in the basement. I pretty much looted that in its entirety. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning. And I'm just thinking I'm going to go and take, take one more pass up here. He does have a couple wood. Uh, but no, I think this is, I think this is a pretty good haul. And there is just meds and stuff. Meds and stuff here, as I remember. Yeah. I would like to take that, though. Okay, well, that's that That should do it. So let's, let's get out of here. I've already hung around far too long. I'm starting to feel a little bit guilty. I don't even know where they're, they're hiding anymore, but they're out there. They're in the basement. And Marco is back. So that was that was a safe, very very productive run. Um, I'm I'm probably going to suffer a little bit of sadness for it, but you know what? Those AKs make me happy. So I'm not really too worried about that. as long as I'm happy. You see, that's that that's the bottom line here, and that, I I am very very happy right now. Yeah, yeah, she didn't seem well at all, and I'm sure that she's not going to be doing too much better now, unfortunately. But well. What can you do? I, th th this is the apocalypse, folks, and those kind of decisions, well, they sometimes have to get made, especially when you find two AKs. True words. So everyone's sad now, for obvious reasons. Um, I, I seem to be the only happy one here. But let's take a look at the radio first and uh, see what we can come up with as far as news it looks like we're just catching the same same channels as we were yesterday I'd like to find some music oh there we go that'll work so that'll give them a little passive increase to their mood and I've got a couple people in bed probably want to have Bruno take a seat and cook up some stuff later in the day a little bit closer to the time when we part ways for the evening. The music is nice. It's very relaxing. Contrast to the artillery going off outside. See, this is this is one of those moments where I really appreciate what this game does. Um, there's there's not many games that offer this kind of ambiance, and this is this is this is about as realistic as it gets in the gaming industry if you really want to compare it to what it's like. It's a whole lot of distant terror accompanied by marmots of sheer madness. I'm hoping for somebody to come to the door 
and give me a trading opportunity, but alas, alas, this music will have to be our only company for the time. I uh, wish there was a way to look out the window. You know, I'd really like to see what's going on out there in the world beyond. Oh, lo and behold. What's going on out there is company. And there's two of them. And they need something from me. Oh. Well, this is... This is a nice turn of events. Well, you just want to... You just want to give it? Wow. Well... Thanks. Thanks, guys. You, uh... You guys be safe out there. That was... That was... That was really something. I didn't... I don't, I've never seen that one before. They just came and gave me food. So I've got two AKs now. i got a bunch of food. This is... This is good. This is a good thing. I'm liking the way this is going so far. And they're still sad, but you know what? We're we're in pretty good shape here, folks. It's it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be sad. It's a sad time that we live in. But at least at least you're still alive, you know. And at least you have the things you need to stay alive. And let's keep that trend going. We we'll get some canned food. Or some uh, some double stack meals up here for these guys. All my all my folks are hungry. So we're going to remedy that here. And Bruno, I think, needs to needs to take a nap. Nappy nap. Is that the kitchen party? Yeah, let me make sure my scavenger gets his. He's he's the most important rung on this on this ladder, unfortunately. So whatever he needs, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do it for him. So he's in good shape. He he is sad, unfortunately, but again, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I should yeah, have Bruno take a nap here. How's Pavel doing? Pavel's in good shape. Pavel's in great shape. Okay, well now we we, we, we seem to be in pretty good shape here. We already had our trading opportunity for the day, so I think I'm just going to close it out here and we can get out and get some more good stuff. Uh, we do want to make sure that we get a lot of materials on this run, because that was unfortunately one thing we didn't get much of at all, along with those AKs. Uh, Pavel guard, Marco's my scavenger, put them both on guard, I think, put them both on guard. I have a feeling I'm going to get hit tonight. And where do we want to go? I could go back to the quiet house and loot the rest of that stuff, but I think just some meds was really the only high value item left there. Um, I know that there's parts here, so that's what I'm thinking. And I don't think I need a, uh, a crowbar or anything. Everything's already open, so I think I'm just going to run in here real quick and grab all the good stuff, grab all these parts, and, uh, and get out. I'm very fortunate that I'm able to actually still get back to this place. I didn't leave any poop in this fridge. Fortunately, but there's a lot of sugar and some veggies in there. So I want to make sure I take all that good stuff. Uh, let's see, more sugar, more sugar. Ooh, does that stack perfectly? I think I think that would stack perfectly. Nice. Uh, oh, there is still that unexplored uh, area out in the backyard that's blocked off by that rubble. I can probably dig through. Yeah, I can definitely dig through that in the time that I have. Make sure I get all this wood, all that wood. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need lots and lots of wood to get this done. Oh, it's not blocked off by rubble. Usually, there's a big old pile of rubble there. Oh, and there's lots of good stuff out here. We got see some electric parts, some mechanical parts, some books. I'm gonna need to leave some of this stuff here to take all this. Let's see, what do I really need? I probably don't need that sugar. Don't need, do I need that moonshine? Not really. What I really do need, though, is those parts. Preferably both the stacks. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any more parts here that can stack to make it a full stack. But yeah, let's just go with the mechanical parts for now. That's, that's kind of the first tier of what we're going to be looking at as far as crafting goes. 
Uh, and I think there's still like one thing of meds up here that was worth grabbing. Oh, we do have lots of supplies here. This is really what I need more than anything else. I don't I don't need the sugar. I need the supplies. Uh, what else can I get rid of? Don't need the moonshine, need the supplies. I'd like to take these books. But well, what else can I get rid of? Uh, no, I really don't want to get rid of those parts. I, I like I don't need the sugar, but it's the full stack and it's hard not to take full stacks. This is this is probably the last time I'm going to be able to come back to this place, so I want to make sure that I do a real complete run. And that should probably do it, I think. So do we get hit? That's that, that's really the big burning question that I have in my mind. Because I still don't have anything beyond that one knife. How did we fare? Yeah, we did have a pretty good hole tonight. Lots of materials. Lots and lots of materials, yep. Just like I thought, we got raided, and, well, okay. This seems to have worked out well. I'm glad I put them both on guard. That's, uh, that, that was a nice bit of preemptive reckoning on, on my behalf, I do say so myself. Oh, I, you know, I wouldn't have figured Popple for a big reader. But, I, I guess people were full of surprises. Or maybe just, you know, you, you, you do what you can in the apocalypse. You learn to read good books. That's I, I have some personal experience there. I do want to make sure I get this uh, cook stove upgraded as quickly as possible because that's going to be a big deciding factor in how much materials I actually have to spend on building stuff with as opposed to turning into fuel. Um, so let's go ahead and get that done. And that'll knock my fuel cost down to one uh, per meal regardless if it's a single meal or if it's a, if it's a, a double stack meal. I guess a large meal would probably be a better way of putting that. And let's see, what can I... Yep, it's, so it's down to one. There you see, one one fuel cost. So this, is, this is good news for everybody concerned. And I can burn some of this wood now and turn that into food. Or at least the, the makings to make food with. And I will get two meals up from my awesome, fabulous superstar chef here, Bruno. And let these guys sleep it off for a bit. I think that uh, this is probably a good place to leave this episode. We're in pretty good shape here. And uh, I know that in the next runs we'll start getting into some trouble. So uh, as I have Bruno eat here, I will close out this episode. I'll put links up in the sidebar and the description for the next Let's Play. Uh, check out my channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.